Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to another squad builder on FIFA 15 and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite squads I've used so far on FIFA 15 which is in the 4-3-3 false 9 formation and uh, on goal we probably have the best goalkeeper in FIFA 15 so far that's the new legend goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel uh, the first centre back is Laurent Blanc from France uh, he has some really really good stats 80 pace, 90 defending, 84 physical uh, high defensive and medium attacking work rates which are pretty decent for a centre back uh, he was actually one of the centre backs I enjoyed the most uh, legend twice then uh, we have Beckenbauer alongside him absolutely loved him as well like I said in a previous video he's uh, he's definitely uh, the, the legend David Luiz especially if you look at his work rates and also just the way he plays then uh, we move on to the right back that is Coleman from Everton once again he is a non there in this year's ultimate team uh, he actually had a really really nice upgrade compared to his first card on FIFA 14 which was a 72 rated silver also a non there I do believe uh, he also had a nice upgrade last year on ultimate team but um, yeah, so far I really, really enjoyed him. He almost scored a really nice goal there, which you can see. Great save there from, I do believe, Courtois. So um, yeah, Coleman was a very solid left back, did the job for me. Then uh, we move into the left back, that is uh, Fabio Contrao there from Real Madrid. Uh, I actually really liked him last year. And also in FIFA 15, he, uh, he was very, very solid for me. I think his stats haven't really changed at all compared to his FIFA 14 card. I think his pace got downgraded by one, and uh, that is pretty much it. So um, yeah, Contrao was a very, very good player in my opinion. Then uh, we move into the center defensive mid who actually is a center attacking mid but I just want to have him in this squad and that is of course Valderrama from Colombia he has uh, probably the worst stats for a for legend card but um, he does have four star skin which that is actually the main reason why I decided to use him and he was actually very very decent for me also in this squad then uh, alongside him we have Michael Laudrup as a center mid but uh, he still has a center attacking mid does get enough chemistry and uh, this guy is absolutely fantastic uh, especially when it comes to dribbling he's really really good he has four star skill moves uh, I think three star weak foot which is probably the downside of him but um yeah I actually really enjoyed him unfortunately I couldn't score a goal with him but I was pretty close with that with the first clip I showed you guys then now uh, we move on to the other sentiment who is also a center attacking mid but does get enough chemistry that is uh, JJ Okocha probably the legend that disappointed me the most for some reason I expected a lot of him simply because he has five star skill moves uh, his stats are also very very good he has 84 pace uh, 80 shooting 81 passing which is just more than enough in my opinion and also has 90 dribbling which is absolutely amazing but for some reason he just played so bad for me for some reason I don't know why uh, I got a few chances with him which you will see but his finishing isn't really the best uh, his physical like I mentioned previously in a, in a previous video isn't really the greatest either he gets pushed on the ball a lot for me uh, he only managed to score one goal for me which is obviously not the greatest but um, yeah you will see it on your screen right now um, I think I probably used him in a different position maybe next time when I use him I should use him as a center forward because when I used him as a cam he didn't really play that great as a sentiment he didn't really play that great either so it could be that I used him in a completely different position because his stats are really really good so I'll definitely try him again on the full game if I can get my hands on him of course then uh, we move on to the left winger the Portuguese five star skiller Cristiano Ronaldo you all know him doesn't really need an introduction but this man he's just amazing every single year on FIFA he managed to uh, to score eight goals I do believe in, in nine games for me so that's a pretty decent record I would say but um, yeah Cristiano Ronaldo he's just absolutely amazing also this year in ultimate team uh, unfortunately I couldn't score a free kick with him uh, I think this is the closest I got where I hit the post I had a lot of attempts but I think most of them just uh, just went way over the goal but um, yeah Cristiano Ronaldo he's 92 rated that is probably the thing that uh, amazed a lot of people because um, as you may know Ronaldo had an insane season last year for Real Madrid he won a lot of things and in my opinion he should like he should be 93 rated he deserved that upgrade uh, Messi got the downgrade to 93 which is fair enough I guess but Ronaldo I think he should be 93 rated as well. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, on your screen, you actually just saw one of the new celebrations that uh, EA have added in FIFA 15. Looks really, really cool. The, uh, the new Cristiano Ronaldo celebration. Then uh, that situation over there, I think we should have gotten a penalty. But then from a corner, some lovely stuff there from Okocha who crossed it over to uh, to Ronaldo with a lovely Rabona cross who finished it off. Decent goal there. And then uh, the final clipper after some stuff with Pelé. Uh, we pass it off to Ronaldo. But unfortunately, we couldn't get the goal because Noia was there to save it. So. So um, yeah, those were pretty much the clips I got with Ronaldo. I scored a couple more goals, but I don't think those were like worth showing. Then uh, we move on to the right hand side, the right wing, who actually is a right mid as default position. That is uh, Aiden McGeady. Absolutely loved him as well on FIFA 14. So um, I decided to give him a goal on 15 as well. He was also really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, he only scored one goal for me in nine games, which isn't really the best. But um, yeah, overall, McGeady just played really, really good for me. He created a lot of chances. Um, he's also just one of those players I would recommend 
to you guys if you like to build a uh, skill squad right at the beginning of FIFA 15 because I think he will be pretty common impacts to his ratings so I guess he will be pretty cheap as well then uh, we actually got I think one of the best goals I've scored so far on FIFA 15 just love the stuff from Loudrup an amazing pass to McGeady and then McGeady with a slide tackle kind of pass just on the Manuel Nora and uh, the ball goes in so uh, I guess that was a really really nice goal uh, then we move on to the final player who is uh, yet again the uh, the highest rated player on the ultimate team that is uh, Pele I'm not really too sure if his stats actually changed because I know that uh, a lot of uh, legends that were actually on FIFA 14 have slightly different stats on FIFA 15 so I'm not really too sure if that's the same case for him but um, yeah Pele he just he's just absolutely amazing yet again on ultimate team uh, the only downside I think I felt in comparison to his uh, FIFA 14 card is that his shooting is maybe a little bit less maybe that's because they kind of kind of changed the shooting system on FIFA 15 but um, yeah nonetheless though Pele is just absolutely amazing yet again the highest rated player on ultimate team is just absolutely fantastic if you ever ever get a chance to play him use him as a center forward as a cam because as a striker he just doesn't do it for me I used him several times as a striker on FIFA 14 actually made a compilation about him which I will leave in the description down below so you can check it out if you haven't already but um, yeah like I said as a striker he just doesn't do the job for me so if you ever Ever, ever get to use him use him as a, as a uh, center attacking mid or as a center forward because that is definitely the position that suits him the best so um, yeah guys that is pretty much going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like it would be very much appreciated and if you can hit 1500 likes it would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye bye